Okay, today we are going to start making our 12-month uh, calendar using Microsoft Office. So you're going to look for the icon that looks like this on your desktop. Double click and then uh, we're going to use Microsoft Word. So open that up and oddly enough, um, we have to go to File and New because we will be using a template created by Microsoft Office and um, it is either in you may have something that looks a little bit different than this so you might have an icon that says calendars um, go ahead and click on the calendars otherwise um, click type in the search calendar wizard and either way you will be looking for the calendar wizard and you'll look for the dark black mark and um, as well as the word calendar wizard go ahead and download that you're going to making this shell following these steps click next we do want boxes and borders go ahead click next landscape and yes to leave room for a picture next I think I clicked next too far. Okay, now this is the tough part. Depending on when you have me in class will depend on what year and what month you start. So just um, be sure to ask me in class when you are making your calendar, when we will begin and end. Regardless, it will be a 12-month calendar. So um, I am going to do this example for a uh, third quarter class of 2015-2016 um, school year, which means we are going to end it in 2017, February, and we're going to begin it in March of 2016. So March 2016 will be the first month. And it'll end in February 2017, making it a 12-month calendar. Go ahead and click Next, and then Finish. And you'll see it's creating 12 pages. And I'm going to uh, minimize this a bit because we need to talk very importantly about this section right here. You need to double check right now that you have 12 pages. I am on the first page of 12. I said it was going to start in March. There it is, of 2016. So there that is. All right, we see that we'll have lots of calendars, but we are going to change it up and format it so that it is become very personalized for you. The very first thing we need to do, though, is to make sure we save it correctly. And to save it correctly, there are three important steps in doing so. Go under File, Save As, and the very first step, which is different than any other step we've ever done before, is to change the type. We are going to change it to Word 97 2003 document. That is actually when this template was created, so this is the only way it will save properly. You'll have to start all over again if you don't, but not the end of the world. Let's just make sure we do it first the first time, and then we'll be good. The next thing you want to look for is your name on the Panda server. It will either be underneath computer on the left-hand side or simply click computer and scroll down on the right hand side and look for your name on the Panda server. Double click that to pop it to the top and now we just have to give it a, a name, a file name. So whatever your class code is, and I'm just gonna put um, 613, I'll make 23, and Zamborski, that's my last name. You would save it as your last name, and that will be good enough right there. Press Save. Now you'll continue to work on this and continue to save from your own folder. Since this is not on the internet, this can only be done at school. 
we are going to work on this project in class alone. Go ahead and um, scroll through here and um, see that we are going to put our name centered in the footer. So to do that, we are going to go under the Insert menu, find Footer, click on it, and we're going to choose the very first one. To center it, we are going to do Control-E to move that text box center. Type your first and your last name with proper capitalization. Now you're going to notice that it's kind of right in the middle of these lines. I'm going to show you what you need to do to fix it. If you are struggling with it though, don't worry, I will um, fix it before I print it for you. Okay? So you want to go under View and make sure there's a check mark right here for Ruler. Then you'll see the ruler on this side. This will change the margins of the top margin of your footer. Bring it down so now your name, like my name, is right underneath the lines. We'll double click anywhere in the center. Double click. Now my name can be seen on all pages, all 12 pages. Now I'm going to do Control S to save my changes, but I got to double check to make sure I still have 12 pages. I do, so I can do that. Control S, it's saving, it's done. Good. All right, get that far and um, check back for the next lesson.